Hello everyone, Petropas here. Next to us, it's Alex from Tofu Garage. Alex, first of all, tell us what the tofu means in the Tofu Garage. Um, well, we have our first member now, which is my girlfriend, who actually started eating tofu now. But other than that, we have nothing to do with tofu, the food or anything. It's basically just a, well, funny name for bringing Japanese and garage shop and something together because when it all started, I didn't want to have like a typical, like, so like, pressed together name, like engineering, racing, yeah, yeah. whatever. Like, I didn't want to identify with all of these, like, like Google search words, you know? Yeah. Like, I want to have something which describes what I love, what I do, um, which is also like, so just as custom as my cars. And we, by accident, stumbled upon the name Tofu Garage. And we were joking about that I brought a bunch of Japanese cars into the shop back then. And sounds, but it sounds yeah. cool. It sounds <laughs> cool. Tell me how it feels to drive this car on the street. Um, it's pretty amazing. Honestly, uh, when I bought the car stock in, in Miami back then, it was already a fun car. Um, even with the stock 200 horsepower, which so many people say is like super boring and way too slow and whatever. It actually is super fun in the corners. And you, can, you can have a lot of fun. So but it's it's actually not a super BRZ and not a Toyota yeah. GD86. It's a it's true Cyan FRS. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Tofu garage and, and the whole thing I'm doing now. Um, so it started with this car. Yeah, it all started because I bought this car, and I only bought the car because I saw a picture on Google of Stay Crush and FRS with the V1 kit. I was like, but because I when I saw the car at the dealer, I thought it's ugly as fuck. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, who would ever drive that? And then I actually searched for how it could look mm -hmm. and that actually convinced me to get the car. Okay, <laughs> and last but not least, tell me a few words about the other cars you have in the Tofu Car stand in, uh, at the um, Hungarian show. First of all, here we have that uh, GTR, yeah. so badass, it's so awesome. Just, just a few words. Three words, um, custom Tofu Car suits, I love, I have the same one for the part back in my car. Uh, we did a custom left-hand drive conversion, so that's pretty rare. And we did the Panem kit on it with uh, super wide wheels, ridiculous offset. Um, but it's, it's just a fun car. It's, it's way far away from being done. Like we have so much still like in mind for this car. First of all, it's going to be a new library change this year. Um, after that, we're actually going to concentrate on the on the engine and stuff. Um, but yeah, for now it's just a great car to look at and sometimes drive around, take the show. It's good. What about the Caber King, which has oh, yeah. special key? It's got actually a Datsun front. Yeah, I got a, a good, it's got a S30 Datsun front end, which was actually original dealer fitted kit. Um, I have all the paperwork of the car. I got 54,000 kilometers on it. Um, it, it, I bought it by accident, honestly. I was sitting at school, scrolling through auctions, and I texted my guy in Japan and was like, well, bid five grand on it. And he's like, yeah, but you're not gonna get it with that. And I'm like, well, let's try. And an hour later, he called me like, dude, you bought it. And I was like, fuck, I don't even have the money for it right now. Like, <laughs> but yeah, then for Asimo to show, uh, they called me up, like, oh, well, can you bring another car? And I already bought like 16. Mm -hmm. So then we, I was like, oh yeah, sure. And then I was looking around at the shop, I was like, it was all stock, like mm -hmm. ugly stock wheels and everything. And we just basically threw parts at it I had sitting around at the shop. Mm -hmm. Camber arms, way too big wheels with way too low offset, so they were sticking out like that. So we were like, oh well, fuck it, just camber it. Yeah. Make it fit, make it work, line wrapped it, mm -hmm. threw my old drift wing on it. And what's up with the last, your girlfriend's car? My girlfriend's car, yeah. Um, it was a pretty, pretty dope build uh, because we, we decided to do like a couple goals thing on it. Uh, with the Narda Grey and the copper wheels and shit. Um, uh, she bought it out of Belgium as a mm -hmm. complete stock car. Um, it actually came with uh, this setup, I mean, right hand drive PS13 and yeah. that's all. Yeah, right hand drive PS13. This car still has a long way to go. We have like parts coming in in the next week. So. Uh, yeah, it's Alex, a, thank so you for your time. It was, it was a pleasure, welcome. man. Uh, <laughs> follow the guys on the Instagram and YouTube too. Tofu Garage and uh, Tofu Garage Relax. And also follow us, <laughs> Petrol Pals, on Instagram and YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode. See, See you. Bye. Hey.